uh, we're going from reasonably expensive in a cost of uh, living crisis to um, affordable. But what do you actually get for your money, Martin? This is an, an affordable Dolby Atmos soundbar. Is it any good? Well, you also get a subwoofer with it oh, as well. Right. Okay. And um, cool. these guys in Cambridge, uh, Eddie Latham and PJ Scott, they've basically set up shop in 2012. And although they're based in Cambridge, uh, they're not necessarily at the hi-fi end of the spectrum. They're definitely at the value end. But And I think therein is the point that uh, in what I'm referring to as a cash-strapped age and certainly an inflation-rampant age, uh, I think these kinds of products are going to hold more weight. Um, Majority is a Brit brand. Uh, it seems they mostly go for OEM type stuff, things that come off the shelf. I don't know how customized these are for each market. It's difficult to find that stuff out. Um, but they produce a soundbar here, which is at the top of their soundbar range. They do DAB radios, internet radios, um, and also computer speakers. And actually I will be reviewing, or we will be putting up a review of the DX20, 29 pound 95, uh, computer speakers very soon as well. But this soundbar is at the top of their range at £279.95, but I think you can probably find it cheaper. Amazon is usually the outlet, and in fact, these two guys are e-commerce experts. This soundbar is 96 centimetres long and a rather high 8.1 centimetres, so it could produce issues if you're placing it near to your TV and depending how the stand is built and how high uh, the screen is off uh, the surface. It has uh, four forward facing drivers, two upward facing drivers to achieve Dolby Atmos. It is called the Sierra Plus uh, 2.1.2 Dolby Atmos uh, soundbar. And the Dolby Atmos actually piggybacks off Dolby Digital Plus, so it's a lossy kind of Dolby Atmos. Um, and of course, there's an attendant sub as well. Now, the sound, the sound is quite wide. It's quite satisfying. It's not very articulate, and the ceiling-based Atmos effects are definitely lacking. But it's not bad value for money. Uh, the bass is, again, also a bit on, inarticulate, a bit rumbly, not really uh tying in and can feel a little isolated but um it's not bad it's uh and like i said it's quite a big sound it's quite a wide sound and uh and i did say in my review it's quite good value for money but seven out of ten uh nothing higher than that for this package okay i mean it's it, it, it is what it is at that kind of price range yeah. but it's interesting to see uh um a company i'd never heard of and they, they approached us and said do you fancy having a look at this and, and we have and uh, it's it's middle of the road where you would expect it to be at that kind of price totally and good and good for them i mean obviously these guys are very entrepreneurial and they're you know they've identified a gap in the market and they're they're going for it 